The oldest excuse in the world. <laughs> well, with some people, maybe, but not with Martha. She's an honest girl, is oh, Martha? Oh, well, the day is long. Besides that, she's got a car that predates flush toilets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seriously. Can I fill that up for you? Oh, yes, if you don't mind. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what she is. And you? Me? Are you proud of your heritage? Oh, yes, very. I just don't want you to think that Mrs. Clancy means any harm. Oh, I know she doesn't. Her heritage is extremely important to her. And her concern for you is merely an extension of that pride, see. And by protecting you, she feels that she's protecting her heritage. Then you understand. Of course I do. That's exactly the way I feel about Jake. Meaning you're still not quite ready to accept me. I accept you, Rose. From the very first day. But it's you and Jake together. That's my problem. Listen, Isaac, I believe in roots just as much as you do. Yes, but you see, in Judaism, those roots are the very foundation for everything that is to come in life. Family, tradition, these are the things that matter. And to marry outside the faith is to lose all that. It is shunning your own flesh and blood. It's not that I don't understand that. My dear Rose, if you understood it, there would be no need for this conversation. Want more coffee? Well, you just gave me some. Oh, go ahead, Uncle Isaac. Another oh, cup of that poison would not hurt. Hello. Hi. Hello. No, no, no more, no more coffee. I've got to run, really. Thank you, Rose. And listen, do old Uncle Isaac a favor. Think about what I said, huh? Well. All right. What did he say? Oh, nothing much. We just talked about life, philosophies. He's very proud of you, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All that business in the paper, it really impressed him. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What about you? Oh, I didn't need to see it in the paper. I was impressed a long <laughs> time ago. <laughs> hey, how'd it go over at Luke's get-together? Oh, it was all finished by the time I got there. So you didn't get to see Luke? No, yes, I did. We talked. Mostly about Grant. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, until he took off out the door. Took off? Yeah, he just left. Didn't say anything about where he was going. He just said he had some idea, whatever that means. Thank you for seeing me. Go oh, extra out the office press, just oh, like yours. Oh, jeez, I want a thousand islands. Oh, here, let me take it back. No. Hey, that's my wrist. I know, and I'm not letting go until you tell me about all the propaganda Uncle Isaac filled you with. Well, nothing. Honest. Just some stuff about the importance of family, heritage, uh, Jewish tradition. A lot of what he said made sense, though. I tell you, I feel terrible thinking I could take you away from all that. That's just it. You can't. Heritage is something that's inbred. You can't take that away from somebody. It's impossible. Tradition is something you share. Nobody has to give up anything, don't you see? Not according to Isaac. I am not Uncle Isaac, and you are not Mrs. Clancy. And the sooner we get that through our heads, the sooner we'll make something out of this. So long as it doesn't bother you. The only thing that bothers me is that it bothers you. <laughs> hey, I've got the rest of the afternoon off. What do you say you and I go upstairs? I can't. I gotta get ready for the dinner crowd. What? Yes. I give up tradition and heritage and religion and you can't give up that dinner crowd? <laughs> what happened to a sharing relationship? All right, when you put it that way. I talked you into it? Yes, Counselor, you talked me into it. Oh, baby, oh, baby. I appreciate you listening. <laughs> 